another beautiful day here in El Nido. Today we're going to be doing Tour A, which is the, one of the most popular tours in El Nido because you either go to Small Lagoon or Big Lagoon, which is the two iconic spots that uh, these tours go to. Um, so today we are actually booked with Hacky Life, one of the, the best tours agency that you can go with because we had a really good time with them when we did the Jeepney tour. So. Um, start of the day we do a bit of briefing and as you guys can see i'm already walking and this is how you get to the boat <laughs> where's the first class experience <laughs> but um yeah yeah so right now if i didn't have a waterproof pack i'll be i'd have all my stuff with right now it's a <laughs> it's a good experience isn't it guys <laughs> So we are boarding, waiting for the official yes so we can start the tour. Uh, how much did it cost again, by the way? Uh, 1,600 per person. So yeah, it's not a bad, bad deal. I mean, uh, it's all inclusive. We got your lunch for you. Uh, and if you book with Hacky Life, um, that's also... Yeah, the water is actually 100 Yeah, but Hacky Life includes all your uh, snorkeling gear and mask, which is pretty good because other tourists will not do that. Yeah, just for your face and your, you know, your snorkel mask. But anyway guys, let's see how the day goes and we're gonna have so much fun. I know we will. Let's go. Welcome here now in Seven Commander Beach. Seven Commander Beach, guys. Look at that water. Look at that water. So we're walking on Seven Commander Beach. It's actually quite nice. Very popular beach, though. Lots of people. But I mean, uh, the beach is very blue, very clear. Really good place to, I guess, get, get amongst it, go meet some people, go play volleyball or what, whatever, get a tan, relax. But uh, yeah, it's easy to find where we need to go because our guides are always wearing yellow shirts, so pretty easy to find. But if I show you guys what I'm looking at right now, you can see how many people there are right now. So that's just El Nido for you guys. And if you ever want to miss the crowd, dodge the crowd, then obviously a private tour would make sense. But then it's more expensive and you got to find a group. A joint tour, however, though, you're going to meet people Everything is much easier, everything's all done for you, so...
Our next stop brings us to Smolagun, which is one of the most iconic breathtaking spots in El Nido. Unfortunately, we were supposed to go to Big Lagoon, which is our preferred side and actually one of the best ones as well. However, the views were still amazing and the snorkeling experience was so good. It was one of the most amazing spots we've seen. so far so we went to obviously small lagoon just before we're snorkeling amazing what do you think of the snorkeling did you see that little fish that we saw yeah they're really a fish that it's kind of like wondering who are these people yeah i've had it like it's happened to me three times so I did it. jason from, from canada uh what do you think of the tour so far mate i like it i like it i love it i love it what do you love about it what, what's the what's the point great uh, beaches uh, yeah, yeah. So weather is very, uh, very nice. Very nice, yeah, yeah. Temperature. Yes, perfect. I love it. So that's not just me being <laughs> Filipino in New Zealand. You've heard it from the man himself. Yeah. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Guys, so we've had some lunch finally and at last there was another beautiful lunch. The food was amazing. They have a bit more range, especially with Hacking Life. They really go out of their way to kind of make sure that everybody has a lot of options and variety of food. We had pork chops, we had fish, we had crispy spring rolls. Um, we had obviously a platter of fruits. Um, and there's a lot more offer, you know, you even have like vegetarian option, which is kind of like this like vegetable gulai. I can't remember what the name of the Filipino dish, but it was amazing. But again, this island is called Payong Payong Beach. Payong means umbrella. And the reason why is because if you look at the formation, the rock formations down here, it looks like a really small thing with a little um, kind of like, what do you call it? Like it gets really small, so it almost looks like an umbrella because it's like a shelter, right? So again, Payong Payong Beach. Um, one thing I did learn out of all the tours that we've been doing in El Nido is that they do try to stick to the four or five stops that you do but there are times when it's crowded or it's fully booked like today we either had the option to go to Small Lagoon or Big Lagoon but Big Lagoon was fully booked today so we are it's, we end up getting to Small Lagoon and then the range kind of just follows also for lunch we wanted to be somewhere else but ended up in Payan Payan Beach because what I mean by that is like if everybody has time allocations in terms of each stop and if there's too many boats the boats uh your trip your tour might take an alternative route so that's what happened today guys it's paradise literally and we were pretty much the only ones now um, after we finished eating and there are caves there's a secluded beach like two cliffs who look amazing and yeah now we have to swim back <laughs> um, probably one of my favorite spots so far, I, I have to say. Yeah. Um, even though it's not like a lagoon or something, I mean, the lagoons are incredible. But I mean, for lunch spot, this one was 
really amazing. <laughs> and our last stop brings us to this beautiful island in Talola. Island is literally our last stop, which means we're just going to be chilling. The boys, the girls are playing volleyball right now. But some of us are just literally chilling and making the most out of it right now. Kind of just down chilling. Some people are sun painting. Some people are just kind of like chatting, talking away. Um, and I think this is the right way to end the tour, you know, like people can choose whatever they want to do, right? And for me, obviously it's been a really nice lunch, but I've just seen this place here where they sell a bit more than drinks beer and they have this thing called buko halo now if you're not a fan or if not familiar with halo 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 is like a dessert snack in the philippines halo means mix so it's like mix mix um technically it's it's like a fruit perfect for the summer it's like an uh, i don't know how to say it. it's like a shake mixed with fruits tropical fruits uh, pretty much all these amazing bits you'll have to google search what i mean though so another thing I want to talk about is that it was being challenging to create content on the go. Today we've experienced some really, really massive current or some waves along the way. And there are times where the boat would splash and uh, it was kind of hard to kind of predict if we're going to get soaked or not. Even with wet bags, you know, like the moment you take stuff out, it would just splash everywhere. And there are times also when it was too crowded and also we had the wind today which means it was even more harder to fly today because of the wind conditions here in El Nido it can be quite gnarly and, and big at times but I don't want to talk too much and I know I do so um, I'm just uh, hanging around with these guys it's been amazing you know I'm gonna go order me some buko halo and um, yeah amazing stuff she's got her drone out Woo! Mm. wow <laughs> So I didn't end up getting buko halo, I actually got myself a typical regular halo halo. Um, I actually forgot to show you guys what it is, but I've already mixed it. So before I had like all the fruits on top, um, but now I just got so hungry and just wanted to eat it. But buko halo was really, really uh, an option for me, but I didn't end up going for that. Karina just got off finishing volleyball and I wonder how it went. Did you guys win or did you lose? Yeah, we lose. We lost, but it was really close. <laughs> I think it was 18 or 19 to 20 something. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was fun. It is sure fun. Mm -hmm. And it's at, at the end of the game, you know, everybody just chills out again and now that they're all doing their thing. So I guess that's tour A, guys. We are about to head off back to El Nido. That was our fourth and final stop for tour A. It's a pretty cool um, tour if you guys ever wanted to go for it. And if you are going to El Nido, I would definitely consider doing Tour A or Tour C. Um, and if you do it, do it with Hacky Life because they're definitely... It's just amazing the fact that they all organize. Everybody, the staff will always look after you. And I know every tourist will do that. Um, one thing I did like about Hacky Tours is they have their own flag. Uh, so it's easier to spot your own boat. The boat's very nice. It's comfortable. It's massive. It's comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. It is comfortable. How many times did I say that now? Um, but you know what I mean. So yeah guys, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a bit of a messy one, but hey, at least uh, we got to capture some bits and uh, pieces for of our, our experiences on what we did here in the Philippines. But hope you guys are loving it. El Nido is really, really beautiful. If you ever come to El Nido, see it for yourself and see why people call this the, one of the best islands in the world, because it gives you so many access to all these remote islands. And I just can't further express enough to recommend coming here. I know in some places it gets busy, but there's a reason why people come here. And you have to see it for yourself. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content. And if, especially if you want to uh, see more of our stuff. Uh, we're going to be creating a lot of content here in the Philippines. So um, yeah, anyway guys, time to go back in a bit.
What's up guys, we are back. Sorry the Gerber had to cut off there, ran out of battery. But we're back. Um, what an awesome tour it's been in El Nido. And again, Tour A was uh, a highlight. Again though, we made it this far. Hacky Life did an awesome job. We really enjoyed the tour. If you ever want to do a Jeepney tour, make sure you check out this video up here as well, as we had a really an amazing blast. But again, you guys made it this far. If you know you want to see some more videos, definitely hit the subscribe if you want to see more. But like this, like this video, let us know in the comments below what you want to do and if there's anything that you want to see. But so far, the Philippine trip is just going pretty wild. But there's a lot more to come as well because we're going to be heading down to the south of Palawan as we head to Bailabac next. But again, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll look for our next sweet hideout. So again, see you guys in the next one. Good night. Yeah.